Hi, my name is Agata. Welcome in Agata's Cottage. Today I have my February showing plants video for you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate if you do so. Thank you to all the new subscribers and to returning subscribers. I'm very happy you are here with us. And don't forget, give this video a thumbs up. Apparently YouTube very likes it. Don't argue with algorithms, apparently. Anyway, I have some ambitious plans for this month. Um, I can't share, cannot share all the details. Um, I have three gifts to make, so I won't be mentioning those. I will share them in my February makes after they are done. But as you can see, plenty of things to share anyway. Um, but first I will share with you ideas for um, my 52 weeks sewing challenge uh, that I'm doing uh, in one of the Facebook groups. So there is a Facebook group that does every year 52 weeks sewing challenge and there's prompt for every week. Um, I started the challenge last year and I kept going till July when I sprained my ankle and I couldn't do it anymore. So I decided this year I'm staying on track. So I'm on track for first four weeks of January with all my makes, all the challenges has been accepted. So for February, um, these are the teams. I left my other glasses somewhere, so I'm using the normal one. So for this week is so something red or with hearts. So. I'm planning to finish hoodie for Chris that is uh, red and black, so that will fit into a challenge. Then sew something with batting or stuffing. And I actually have cut out and started uh, pot holders and mittens for our kitchen. So that will be for the second week of um, uh, February. Uh, use fabric from your stash. And actually, I have few fabrics that were in my stash for a while uh, that I will be using. And the last one is quilt something. So I haven't thought yet about anything to do with quilting, but I might do a quilted pot holder or something like that. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, maybe I will get inspired. So without further ado, and those ones are in no particular order. It was just how I pulled the fabrics out of my stash. So uh, first is this gorgeous French Terry from Ecobee. Uh, we got it in December and Alice wants a jumper dress in it. Um, raglan sleeve jumper dress. We found the pattern in one of the October magazines. I need to trace it uh, and just make it. Um, I will do adjustments probably around the pockets because I'm not keen on making wild uh, pockets with zipper on a jumper dress, but we will see how it goes. Uh, I have one meter of it to be more than enough for a jumper dress for her. Uh, it's super soft fabric. I highly recommend uh, uh, this fabric. It's very nice and cozy. Next, it's... Um, um, as I mentioned in my uh, annual plans for sewing plans for 2023, I'm hoping to make at least one dress um, for Dress a Girl uh, around the world action, uh, one dress a month. I haven't done any in January, but in fairness, I spent most of January sick. I'm actually still on antibiotics. That's the second round and second round of steroids. But Comparing to last week, it's unbelievable difference. I feel almost brand new. So that's a good sign. So I picked this, uh, that's quilting cotton I got long, long time ago in Whites in Newbridge, my local fabric store. And I picked lace yesterday when I was there. Uh, and the dress that I'm planning to make is Collins uh, dress by Ellie and Mac. It comes in sizes three months to 16 years and I printed size 12. 
and um, I chose this print from my stash because actually uh, in February there is a traditional Polish holiday that I always celebrate. I, I don't always celebrate Polish holidays or kind of like uh, not all the traditional things, but this one is mandatory. It's called Fat Thursday. So basically that's last Thursday before the Lent when you can stuff yourself with all fried goodies like donuts and funnel cakes and stuff like that and calories don't count. And I always make my own donuts and I use a jam that Chris's aunt is making for me every year. It's rose petal uh, jam and I mix it with my own strawberry, strawberry or raspberry jam and they are delicious. So all neighbors were asking when Fat Thursday is coming because they are missing their donuts. So I will be making donuts um, for this year. It's 16th of February and I thought, you know, it's just so cheerful print with all those baked goodies and stuff like that. So why not the dress in it? Uh, I think I have enough to make one dress in size 12 and I will probably have a bit left over to color block with some another color or print to make more or something smaller. <clears throat> Next fabric is from my stash and it was there for a while. Um, as I mentioned in the past, I bought some fabrics from uh, Polish sewing groups uh, where you will get the bundle or you will get the mystery box or for example fabrics were cheap. Uh, my approach was like that. Um, I'm still learning. There is still a lot of things I don't know. I prefer to practice on cheap fabric and if I and I won't feel as bad when it won't work out versus if I spend a lot of money on expensive fabrics because I do have few expensive fabrics that I'm terrified of cutting into in case I will choose the wrong pattern or something goes wrong. So um, I need some more smart blazers in my wardrobe. So I have a, the Elevated Blazer by Ellie and Mac. I printed it out. And I decided I'm going to make in this, it's a French terry, it's double-sided French terry. So the inside is royal blue. As, I, as you can see, it's obviously it's not the bestest quality fabric, but for wearable tool, uh, tool, it's fine. And the front is gray. Of course you can switch, but I prefer gray on the front. Um, I love how the pattern looks. Actually, Tiffany from uh, Hosier Handmade made a version recently uh, that's lovely. And on Alien Mac website, there is one version in hot pink that's unbelievable. Um, and this pattern comes in very generous sizes. I did prepare myself this time when I actually wrote all the sizes uh, patterns are coming in. So it's coming in size uh, XXS to 8. XL, so bust of 29 inches to bust of 70 inches and hip of 33 and a half inch to 75 inches. So uh, it's a very wide range of um, uh, sizes. I don't think that there's many companies that actually do as big size range as Alien Mark. Next one is a uh, fabric I got from my lovely friend Alisa. It's a double brush poly and it's all my colors and I love this fabric and and that's one of the fabrics that I was afraid of because it's so gorgeous, it's so soft and I didn't want to mess it up on wrong project and I found the perfect project for it. Uh, Galaxy T by Pattern Scissors Cloth. Uh, I think last year doing So Frogal organized by Ruan from the Yorkshire Sewer Girl and uh, some from Frugalissima. 
uh, this pattern was available during a month for free I'm not 100% sure but I think that was the case um, I think now it's 10 euro it's gorgeous pattern uh, it has relatively high neck so I know myself I will lower the neckline a bit and it has those gorgeous puffy sleeves um, and apparently that's something that I should do to balance my silhouette basically widen my shoulders a bit and so you know I look smaller in the middle apparently that's what you do with the apple shape uh, anyway um so the size is from 32 inch bust to 48 inch bust so it's not as wide as some other patterns and it's it should be relatively easy to hack any t-shirt pattern with a setting sleeve to actually um, make something like that but i'm gonna give it a go i'm very excited about this next one is this gorgeous brushed terry from beyond the pink door i got it recently in january and i'm planning to make cuddle tunic in the dress version so for the inside pocket i will use model french terry super lightweight uh, that i had in my stash it just it matches perfectly with the white flowers it's not ideal from the optical point of view to add a lighter accents around your waist but i don't care those fabrics look so lovely together that i decided uh, that's the best option so i have all the details about the cattle tunic and i made it three times already and it's my favorite uh, dress and my favorite tunic and i definitely need more so uh, this would be dress version so it comes with two sleeve options and as i mentioned tunic and the dress length it has gigantic pocket which is brilliant it comes in size xxs to 7xl so bust 29 to 67 29 inches to 67 inches and hip size from 33 and a half inch to 72 inches it has bottom band and uh, cuffs and you can add optional uh, cowl neck or there is a crew neck it's very versatile pat versatile pattern and it's great for hiding mum tum so i highly recommend that now next one all those fabrics are for one project uh, around the christmas time there was a lot of different sales for patterns and i was on the lookout for a hoodie pattern that will be slightly different and will have a zipper at the front and i came across clio hoodie by stitch upon a time and it was three euro and i said or three dollars and i said like you know even if it's not a great pattern i can give it I, I will give it a go i had a look at the instructions i had a look at the pattern pieces at one point i was a bit confused when i cut out all the pattern pieces and they didn't seem to fit in with the length and then i had a look at the instructions and you know there was a light bulb because i do like to print the pattern pieces and puzzle them together myself and then look at the instructions it's just how my brain works uh, anyway um you can make it in a slightly stretchy fleece so um i had in my stash a remnant of fleece like a polar fleece uh, i got last year for scarf i was making for alice it was like a big hooded scarf and that was the inside so i had around 80 centimeters of the fabric left i got remnant which is less than a meter of this um, just before christmas so i wasn't sure if that would be enough so when i visited white yesterday 
I got another meter of the polar fleece just to be on the safe side and I found in my stash uh, some very lightweight uh, jersey for lining the hood I do prefer to line the hood with jersey over the fleece because my head gets very warm very quickly so uh, jersey is kind of keeping things cool so um, now the uh, hoodie comes in sizes XXS to 4XS and it's bust 25 inches to 56 and a half inch and it's going up to 58 inches in the hip as I mentioned I haven't made that pattern yet uh, when I will make it I can give you my opinion what I think about this but I'm very excited about this project now next one <clears throat> so um next one is something for alice um we got this gorgeous jacquard knit uh, from andrea in beyond the pink door when we visited her in october and um alice was begging me <laughs> to make something quickly and i kind of misplaced the fabric i I knew I put it somewhere, but my stash is big and, you know, in, in the meantime we were sick and there were Christmas and things were moved around and I couldn't find it, but I located it uh, over the weekend. So I will finally make, make her what we planned. Um, so she asked for Forever Flounce Dress by Ellie and Mark or Top. I think it's Top or Dress. Um, top. Yes, that's the top version and we said we can extend it to a dress and add pockets if she wants, depends uh, how things go. So um, the sizes go 6 months to 14 years. Uh, there's various options for this top. So Alice wants a double-sided flounce with the long sleeve. Um, we were thinking about doing flounce in the uh, kind of like faux leather vinyl fabric we have from Ecobi, but the shade is not exactly right and it just doesn't look as we thought it will together. So I think we will go for something in uh, either black uh, jersey or maybe even in this fabric if we'll have enough. Next two projects are actually connected. So um, as you remember, or you might not, if you remember, I got this panel to make Alice a top for Valentine's Day. And I will pair it with this hot pink uh, from my stash. I think that pink is also from Ecobee, panel was from Ecobee. So um, Alice and I were looking at patterns I have and we came across the new Little Lizard King uh, free pattern. It's called uh, Rainy, I think that's how it's pronounced. So we decided it would be perfect for this project because it has those uh, exaggerated sleeves and it would be very nice in uh, combination with the panel. So the pattern comes in sizes 12 months to 14 years. There's also adult version available on the style like uh, Styla Patterns uh, website. I downloaded it, I have them both printed. So I will make one for myself. And with whatever is left from the pink solid, I will combine with this fabric that I got for myself uh, last autumn in uh, so so in Nice. So it's gorgeous uh, jersey with those little glittery lips, and I bought it especially thinking about Valentine's uh, projects. Uh, so um, I'll. I was considering using it for underwear, but then I decided it's so pretty fabric. It's just 
it would be wasteful just to hide it under clothes. So uh, I looked through my pattern stash and then through my own clothes and I remember to the top that I made uh, two years ago that I love still and it's the top notch contrast yoke tee by my handmade wardrobe it was free pattern with uh, i think it was Sim love sewing magazine or something like that i had a look it's still available free for download but there's no instructions but in general it's very simple uh, make so i will use this for the contrast top and the pink for the bottom and i will probably use a uh, navy for the buns um these patterns come in sizes xs to xl there is no sizing chart so uh, when i printed it um, i just basically printed as it was because i don't think it was layered and i just measured the pattern pieces versus myself and that's how i come up with what size i should make actually i do it quite often on some of the um patterns because sometimes the sizing just doesn't go well for me next two projects are t-shirts for chris so as, we, as promised i will make a panel video there is one panel for trying and then there will be this one and this one so they all are in three different sizes they all will require different adjustments of the pattern so i will slowly record everything um, and put it together but it will take time because it will be a lot of footage to go through uh, i will probably do it as a series about the sewing with panels where for example in one i will just go through the things that I made and uh, in next one uh, I will show you how to adjust the patterns or you know how to come up with what to do with the panel we'll see how it goes and the last project that it's on a um, very maybe pile it's uh, using this stripy jersey I had in my stash I used this fabric as inspiration last summer to draw a design uh, for a t-shirt. So it's basically drop shoulder t-shirt with uh, stripes going on one direction on both sides and a little bit ruffled panels on the side here. So it will be my own design. Uh, I have basic pattern done for it, but I need to now adjust to add the ruffles so i want to film everything step by step and show you how you can add those things sorry my neighbors are doing something um so i think it's a clue for me to finish because i uh, knowing them they won't finish for another half an hour to hour so um i hope you enjoy my video thank you very much for watching uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Happy sewing! Bye!